welcome to my channel. Today we are exploring Positano and going to lunch at Da Adolfo. So keep on watching if you want to check out this beautiful town in the Amalfi Coast. What are you doing? Positano. Positano. Is my hat too big for it? <laughs> Most of the beaches in Positano are private beaches. So you have to pay about 20 euros for a chair and umbrella. This far end of the beach is where you get that iconic shot everyone takes in Positano. So you know I had to get mine too. Positano is probably the most well-known town on the Amalfi Coast, but it's also known for being the most glamorous and thus also expensive. We looked into staying here as it does have just a lot more of a nightlife scene, but we decided to stay in nearby Amalfi instead because it's just a little bit more affordable. So today we're in Positano. We got reservations at Da Adolfo. This is like a private beach. So we are headed there to go find the boat that takes you to it. And then later we'll come back and explore here a little bit more. Wah, wah, wah. This is the public beach. That's where you can actually just go lay on the sand. And that's not. I think we have to walk over here. Mm -hmm. When visiting Positano, just expect the cafes to be on the pricier side if you are down by the beach. Head up the streets and get off the beaten path if you want something more affordable. So we stay here until we know where we're going. Yeah. Wow, look at the mist up there, the mountains. Very cool. Actually, it's a good picture right here. Our lunch reservations were definitely off the beaten path. In fact, you could only get to them via boat. Da Adolfo is a little restaurant on a secluded private beach. In order to get there, you need to wait at the dock for a boat with the Da Adolfo fish on the top. I would suggest you give yourself ample time before your reservation so that you can find this boat and board it and not be stressed or in a rush. Getting reservations at this spot was not easy, let me tell you. If you want more info on how to get in for a bite and some fun in the sun at Da Adolfo, head to my description box where I will have a link to a blog post that goes into this in much more detail. Make sure you do have a reservation first. The boat driver will not let you on the boat unless you do. After about a 10 minute boat ride, we arrived. We were seated immediately and got right down to ordering. This restaurant is also a little bit pricey. It's about 20 euros or so per plate, but definitely worth it as it is delicious and it's such a unique experience. After lunch, we grabbed a chair and umbrella by the water. This is not included in your meal, so be prepared with about 20 euros cash for each chair. Unfortunately, the day we went to Positano was really kind of cold and cloudy, and we didn't get to take advantage of our beach time as it did start raining. But we made the best of it and enjoyed our time here. It is absolutely gorgeous and these massive cliffs, and the fact that you're away from the crowds is just a huge plus.
The beaches here are not soft sand, but they're these tiny black pebbles. So just be aware of this and make sure to bring some water shoes if your feet are more sensitive. That was a fun day. Now we're headed back. Yeah. Actually, it's right. A lot of friends are this way. We are back in Positano. Woo! It's a steep city. But it's beautiful. Look at that. This Duomo is not as pretty as our Duomo in Amalfi. Uh, more style. <laughs> sure. Yes, it's representing. I'm going to go in the church. If you have seen any of my travel videos, then you know I love checking out a church. The outside of the Positano Duomo might not be the most impressive, but the inside is absolutely stunning. One thing you will find a lot of all over the Amalfi Coast is lemons. Make sure you grab something as a souvenir. My suggestion is limoncello because you won't find better limoncello anywhere. So here in uh, Positano, can't find anything that I really want to drink at the moment, but my friend uh, Antonio told me is that we find a little So here's a uh, shot of net for my lady that she's going to take and show with. I don't think I'm going to like this. You've never had it before? We've had it before. <laughs> it's not that bad. This shit is disgusting. Oh!
day walking around the Positano. Um, it's beautiful here. Don't know if it's better to stay here than Amalfi, honestly. And Amalfi is a bit cheaper. But they do have nightlife here, and I'm not really sure how we can come to this nightlife without staying in this town. So that's the rub. I've had two baby cannolis, gelato, and Aperol spritz. Y'all, I need to do some more walking tomorrow. <laughs> We boarded the last ferry out of Positano to get back to Amalfi. Be aware, in the summer, sometimes these ferries can get very crowded, especially if you wait for the last one. All in all, we really enjoyed Positano. I would love to go back someday and stay there to be able to experience more of what it has to offer. I think if you had the opportunity to go to the Amalfi Coast and stay a night or two in a couple different towns, that is the most ideal way as it gives you more ability to fully experience each place. So we will just have to come back again someday, I guess. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you check out my other Amalfi Coast videos and please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, ciao.